we've talked about this before. I don't know how much power he really has over anything other than being the game day coach and being the guy who's responsible for the 53 in the locker room. I don't know that he's got anything close to the Bill Belichick type of influence over the final 53. I just don't because no one in that organization feels compelled to say to anyone, I'm the one who's in charge. It's amazing to me. People who have power typically like to let someone know that they have it. And you've got no one who crows privately or hints even publicly that, that they have the juice, that they're in charge there. And it's kind of odd. And it creates this confusion as to who's really in charge. And I, I don't think Mike Tomlin has any sort of final say, and I really don't know how much power he has over the draft picks that they make and the players that they sign. Do you think that that's subject to change now, though, that Omar Khan is the GM and that guy doesn't have a player personnel background? Well, no, because somebody else is involved. I, I, look, I, I still continue to believe that Art Rooney is far more involved in everything than we realize. And Jerry Jones does it in Dallas. He just puts his name on the door as general manager. Art Rooney has never done that, and maybe it's humility or maybe it's I'd rather have other people that I can blame if it ever goes sideways. But, you know, it's, it's a collaboration. You always get the sense it's a collaboration. Well, the, the problem with the collaboration is somebody's ultimately got to be the one if there's a disagreement who's, or who's leading the, the charge to consensus. It doesn't just organically happen because organically there will be disagreements and disputes, and then somebody has to smooth that over or break the tie. That's what's odd. Unless they're very good at, at trading out positions, you know, I'll relent on this guy and you relent on that guy or whatever it may be, it's, it's, it's always been very difficult to get to the bottom of who's running that show. And, and I, I continue to believe Art Rooney has a lot more sway and a lot more influence and a lot more power than anyone realizes at every level 